went for the first time actually into a legit you know market or like a mart with the price tags and the scanning and the whole thing like we have in the west but yeah so i bought a bunch of the uh, local snacks or at least i think they're local hi good morning it's uh 11 about 11 o'clock and uh basically i haven't slept much last night i uh later at night i just my stomach was like so bloated and whatever and i couldn't even sit i just had to lay down if i stood up i got really dizzy but then once in a while i'd walk to the toilet and um to release some pressure so it ended up being me hugging the toilet seat the whole night and now in the morning too so whatever i eat comes out it just doesn't stay in i thought that i was past the bali belly stage since i've been here for almost two weeks now today i'll just chill obviously until i'm better <clears throat> Uh, sorry for the lack of uh, video material, but I basically just laid in bed uh, all day yesterday and today. So basically I got Bali belly. I thought that I was past it, you know, I, I had been here for two weeks, all good. But then all of a sudden, I didn't even know what I ate. Like I just ate at the same barung as always. I've been throwing up for two days. Now I'm stable. Um, do I have the bottle here? Yeah. So this one. Pochari, pochari sweat. Uh, was a lifesaver. It's like a citrus water with some electrolytes. So that one helps out a lot. And also now just sipping on some Coke and um, eating some chips. Getting both that sugar and the salt in. Also some calories. I haven't eaten anything in two days um, so I'm starting to feel a lot better now I'm more energetic still kind of weak though um, so you know it's not like uh, so it's not like you know I'm on, on top yet or like 100% but it's coming along um, I'm moving to Ubud tomorrow so I uh, still need to gain some power because I thought about going on a grab bike again um, and it's quite a long drive um, but yeah I've been just laying inside for two days I haven't filmed anything obviously I've just been throwing up hugging the toilet shitting water all that fun stuff so yeah that's an update I got I got belly belly up for a month after the celebration. It's the penjor two mm. month or the three month. Ah oh, okay okay. Start from the Taluman Yeah. Bro 
that grab driver was such a vibe. Uh, Agus, if you're watching this vlog, uh, you're an awesome driver, you're an awesome person. Had a nice time talking about dreams, futures. Um, yeah, so nice. So now I'm just walking here, I'm in Ubud. Just walking here to my uh, stay for, I think it was four or five days at uh, Bali Dream, Ubud. I got it for our last minute uh, sale, so hopefully it's a nice hotel. This small terrace, uh, they let me use the umbrella. It's been raining all day, so that's nice. Uh, this whole like garden is real nice kind of walked in from the main entrance over there somewhere and yeah so yeah you enter through the sliding doors and immediately you're showing uh, you're showed the bed and we got a refrigerator and a uh, the bathroom it's a really basic one again but yeah, that's about it. And then they gave me two small waters, and here is a closet and a uh, mirror. So it's really simple. It's really simple. So I've been on day three, been sick. Uh, I was better yesterday, but then I when I and then, but then when I went to eat again, uh, it got worse. Uh, but now I actually have some medicine. I don't have the courage to kind of go and explore, and that's basically why I went to Ubud now to rent a bike and just explore like beyond Ubud, like north of Ubud and like, you know, the areas around Ubud because I've never been there. But yeah, just laying here kind of sick or whatever, it feels like I just want to skip this week, go to next week, get down to Seminyak and then actually move in country because you know, even Ubud, like I've seen Ubud, I've seen, I've been to all these places that I've visited now, which is kind of dumb. Like I should have gone to like new places, but you know, the same place is kind of safe because you know what it's about. But yeah, I, feel, I, I still feel like I'm missing out kind of, which also isn't a nice thought since I'm not on top right now and, st and still feeling like I'm missing out giving myself pressure again, which isn't a nice feeling. Um, but yeah, we'll get better. So it's Sunday and I finally feel better. My stomach's quite okay now. So just uh, immediately going on the road feels a lot better just driving around. And actually finding this 
Ubud, uh, no, what's it called? Bintang supermarket. It was like a legit supermarket, so it's quite nice. But yeah, so now I'm gonna just drive around, find some, find some new places to see. I actually found this one, like outdoor museum of like different Indonesian village houses or something. So I'm gonna drive there, go check that out. Um, yeah, bought some water, bought some, <coughs> hopefully some uh, sweet candies to keep me energized on the road. It's gonna be like a one, one hour, two hour drive. Search. Uh, so yeah, sadly, the national Indonesia's national park was like basically demolished during the pandemic. I guess through the weather and no maintenance, just all the houses were kind of like a wreck. She showed me some pictures of her phone, like what the conditions were, and it was sad. Not just because I drove a long way to get there. But also because the whole area looked so professional and, you know, she was really good at speaking English and it was like really, you know, like tourist friendly. So it was kind of sad that it isn't, you know, active at the moment, but um, she said that they have a sponsor that's going to like kind of restore the area. So let's hope that will happen. But now I'm at the uh, village. So... Let's check out the village at least. So the home visit and the treatment and all these medications that we're gonna take for uh, a few days now uh, came down to two million, and that's about like eh, about one hundred and twenty euros. So it's not bad if I'm back on my legs after this. Um, so yeah, Ubud Royal Medical, real good say i got one more week a bit more in bali oh yeah one of the medications actually is a anti-nausea uh anti-nausea medication so i will pop this one tablet three times a day before food so hell yeah and a vitamin one tablet once a day after food vitamin b Vitamin C, hell yeah, and a antispasmodic, whatever that is, uh, paracetamol. So I guess it's like a pain relief kind of thing. So yeah, got a bag of liquid in me. Hopefully I'm okay after this.
Good evening, I'm gonna show the room and this will be the last clip of this video. Sorry that this video has been so miserable, but this is a part of a longer journey on a longer trip. You will get sick at some point, 100%. So this was my time. From now on, this trip will be lit. Uh, I'm in Semenyak. I'm at some hotel, my first proper hotel, and here is the room. You enter, here's the toilet, got some amenities too, two toothbrush, two toothpastes, because um, I booked the cheapest room, and it's a twin bed one. <laughs> um, so yeah, but hey, plenty of space either way, and actually have a TV with some channels on it this time, yes actual tv experience finally uh just bought some water bought a some kind of bread um man i've been drinking lots you know i've been taking a lot of medications i mean i've been taking my medications staying here for 10 days and after 10 days i'm leaving for singapore um but i feel a lot better a lot more energy <laughs> Obviously, since I've been eating um, and sushi, you know, yesterday I ate uh, grilled sushi just to be safe, kind of, since I've been sick for so long. I didn't want to, you know, restart the whole um, journey again. So I ate grilled tuna and grilled salmon, 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 with rice and some cucumber. It was so bomb. Today, the craving for sushi, um, was still there. I went to Ling Ling's um, and ate more sushi. So good. This time raw, I still feel fine. Uh, it was so delicious, so good. Such a nice, such a cool place. Um, but yeah, Seminyak's more expensive than the areas that I've been in, definitely. But with that comes a whole lot of options on food, a whole lot of options on activities if I want to do something I'm actually quite close to the beach now too so I'm gonna check out the beach um, and actually Pereranan beach that was at um, the second place I was in Bali so that beach basically continues all the way on the coast so this is you know next to or Semenyak is like next next to Changu and before Changu is Pereranan so it's like, it's all connected. So the beach just continues and has different names, I guess. Uh, this hotel has a rooftop with a restaurant and uh, what else? There was something. It was a rooftop oh, oh, and a pool and a roof and a restaurant. So yeah, I'll chill, I'll recover. I'm, all, I'm already quite recovered and I've, I'm so happy that I am. I actually have some, you know, energy to do something, to even walk and not just lay down without feeling lightheaded. Um, so big thanks to Ubud Clinical, Ubud Royal Medical <laughs> for giving me the drop, vitamins, some medicine actually for my organs and some diarrhea medication to kind of ease my stomach and not, you know, have it so powerful, <laughs> spit everything out. <laughs> I'm sorry for this vlog, I'm sorry, but it had to be done. The next one will be more fun, okay? I promise. Gambatte ne? Gambatte!